for the past eight years, Barack Obama did everything humanly possible to further the cause of Islam and take care of his Muslim buds. Over the last several weeks, hardcore evidence emerged about how Obama had worked hand-in-hand -hand with ISIS to send massive amounts of weapons to their terror group, with our pilots returning home from war saying they were grounded continuously from doing airstrikes on ISIS. As we learned definitively that Obama was indeed the father of ISIS, in a startling turn of events, we are now learning of how Obama's life was nearly ended while in office, after top terrorists within ISIS decided to turn on their beloved leader suddenly. Obama must have thought it was a good idea to help all of his Muslim brothers by allowing them into the country unvetted and unchecked. However, Obama's plan went awry after new reports have come forward that one Muslim man named Abjurasil Husnovich Jurayboev from Uzbekistan who went into the country through the diversity visa lottery program had pledged to murder Obama or commit a massive terror attack in New York City to prove his allegiance to ISIS. Now, if you don't remember what the diversity visa lottery program was here is a brief reminder. This program that liberals love to push on the American people allows foreigners to come into the United States on a non-merit basis. What this means is that 50,000 randomly selected foreigners with no ties to anyone in the country are granted entry, and the only requirement is that entrants must be adults with a high school diploma or two years of work experience. The winners that are chosen are allowed to bring spouses and their children into the country. So, when Jurebo have got his golden ticket to America, he didn't use it wisely but chose to make plans to murder the former president of the United States. As they say, there is no honor among thieves, here is more from CNS News. Jurebov, a national of Uzbekistan, was admitted to the United States as a diversity visa lottery recipient in 2011, said a report issued jointly this week by the Department of Justice and Department of Homeland Security. Three years later in 2014, according to an October 25, 2017, sentencing letter that then-acting U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of New York Bridget Road sent to U.S. District Judge William Kuntz, Jurebo F. first came to the attention of the government with his online postings on an Uzbek-language social media website. The website, according to the U.S. Attorney, propagated ISIS's ideology and called for its Uzbek-speaking audience to join ISIS. On August 8, 2014, Jurebo F., then about 24 years old, went to this site and posted an alarming message. Greetings. He wrote. We too wanted to pledge our allegiance and commit ourselves while not present there. I am in USA now but we don't have any arms. But is it possible to commit ourselves as dedicated martyrs anyway while here? What I am saying is, to shoot Obama and then get shot ourselves, will it do? Jurebo F said. That will strike fear in the hearts of the infidels, he said. The FBI filed a complaint and affidavit on February 24, 2015, seeking the arrest of Jurebo Ev and two others. Law enforcement, it turns out, had tracked Jurebo Ev's website posting to an IP address associated with a residence in Brooklyn. Agents went there on August 15, 2014, and interviewed him. First, Jurebo Ev acknowledged that he wrote and posted the above reference message on the website which he characterized as the Uzbek language site of ISIL, said the FBI affidavit. Jurebov also stated his belief in ISIL's terrorist agenda, including the establishment by force of an Islamic caliphate in Iraq and Syria, said the affidavit. Jurebov further stated that he would like to travel to Syria to engage in violence on behalf of ISIL if Allah wills, but currently lack the means to travel there. In addition, said the affidavit. Jurebo F. stated that he would harm President Barack Obama if he had the opportunity to do so, but currently does not have the means or an imminent plan to do so. On August 18, 2014, law enforcement agents again interviewed Jurebo F. at his residence. While admitting that he does not like President Obama because of his role in killing Muslims through his support of Israel and the recent bombing of ISIL, the affidavit said of this second interview, Jurebo F. stated that he would not kill President Obama because of ill will towards him, but rather because of Allah. He added that, if ISIL ordered him to kill President Obama, he would do so, the affidavit said. Jurebo F. noted, the affidavit said, that if he received an affirmative or positive response from ISIL to the above referenced posting on the website, he would kill President Obama. Jurebo F. added, the affidavit said, that he would also plan to bomb on Coney Island if he were so ordered by Isaac. 
in her sentencing letter to Judge Kuntz, acting U.S. Attorney Rhodes summarized this same interview with Jure Boev and cited a written statement he gave to law enforcement officials that day. In this statement, the U.S. Attorney said, the defendant reiterated his allegiance to ISIS, I also want to fight and sincerely become a martyr under the Islamic Caliphate against the polytheists and infidels, I gave pledge to Islamic State, and his intention of killing President Obama, even if that person is Obama. Comma if commanded to do so by ISIS, if I get a command from the Islamic Caliphate. He was arrested in February 2015 after he purchased a ticket to Turkey, from which he intended to go to Syria and join ISIS. Now, none of us agree with Obama or his policies, and this proves beyond a reasonable doubt, we were always right. These people have no desire to assimilate into our country and its culture, but rather destroy it and everyone in its path. If Obama honestly thought that he would not be a target for these people, he was sorely mistaken and maybe will rethink some of his poor decisions. The only way we will be able to get our country back on track is by taking a harder stance against terrorism and stricter immigration policies. Once that is accomplished, we can get our country back on track once again.